Hello and happy Wednesday. So the last couple weeks I have been coming up with some crafts and today I am doing a craft slash science experiment kind of thing. Um, and we are going to make homemade bouncy balls. We'll see how that works. I've seen lots of different videos. Um, I actually have my laptop next to me so that I can watch it while I'm doing it because it's very specific in the measurements. Um, but let me just give you a quick rundown of all the things that you will need. Some of the things you're going to need are water, um, some glue, let's see, cornstarch, um, borax, which I've never actually used before, so that will be fun. Um, you're going to need some bowls to mix um, the, the measurements and stuff with, some food coloring, I couldn't find the liquid stuff, so we're using gel. Um, and that's also optional. You don't have to use that, but I think the, the bouncy ball will just be white. And then measuring spoons because, again... Okay. Mixing that stuff on my fingers was the most terrifying experience in my life. I didn't think it was ever going to come off. It was getting harder. It was not rolling into a ball at all. It was just making my fingers sticky. I, I thought I was going to have green fingers for the rest of my life. So I'm going to look up another recipe and try again. That was terrifying. I am trying this a second time with a different recipe. Um, and one bowl, you did a half a cup of warm water and a tablespoon of borax and then in another bowl you did two tablespoons of glue a tablespoon of cornstarch and your food coloring so i am mixing i'm going to try again this time it's a blue ball so i'm mixing and we will see what happens from here this one says to actually put the glue and cornstarch and food coloring in to the borax mixture. So we will see what happens when we do that. I'm still terrified. He said within 10 seconds, it's supposed to harden. I'm so scared, guys. And then I'm supposed to be able to start rolling it. Oh, oh, this one's already a little better. Oh yeah, look at that. It's not as terrifying. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh no, oh no. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mix it. It's starting to feel a little bit more dry. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident in rolling So it. I have rolled it so like I'm not getting any more on my hands. Oh, spoke too soon. But um, I'm actually going to let it dry and clean up here for a little bit. It's starting to come undone. I'm just going to let it dry. I'm going to let it dry. Well, this was a fail. Here is my bouncy ball. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... I let it dry for about four hours. Now it's still soft. All right, so after I picked it up and I rolled it around for a little while, it, it does look like a ball. It's still a little wet on the side. I don't think it's supposed to take this much time to dry, but if I drop it, it does bounce. So it is, a bouncy ball. Um, I wouldn't recommend this craft. If you guys have made a DIY bouncy ball before and you know what I've done wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I watched many videos and I had no luck. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching me fail at a craft today. Bye.